What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado and this is Torado Racing. So in today's video, just like the title states, I went to Saska Autocross for uh, August 8th. Now this autocross was a little different because they did not do points for the uh, Saska members, the guys that are doing autocross for points and they made it more of a fun day. Um, the other thing was that we did COVID rules. So it was a limit of 100 people and about like maybe 84. I think last time I checked the packs, about 84 people showed up, 84 drivers. Uh, there was no ride-alongs and to my knowledge, there was no spectators as well. So I went out there by myself and this go around, um, the changes I made for the car with the uh, BF Goodrich rivals, uh, rival S's. And I didn't want to, I wanted to really focus on my driving uh, this time around and really feel the differences in the car. So I didn't bring out my camera equipment. I didn't do any sort of um, real videography. The only film that I really did get was from my phone and from uh, GoPro Hero 8, thanks Ty. Uh, that I mounted on the car in certain spots of the car. Another thing you're gonna notice in the video is that the GoPro footage jumped from run, I believe four to run six because I didn't hit record on run five. So, but overall uh, the day, it was kind of fun. It was a really fast course. I was able to really open up the car and I had to get a really new feel for the car and for the new tires. Um, I did make an Instagram post and a Facebook post and I put that the BF Goodridge rivals are just confidence inspiring and you can kind of tell in the first run where i'm going slow just like I, I would normally go slow because it's such a heavy car to get around these turns that you would end up just understeering like crazy and i quickly realized i'm going to say about three quarters of the way through on my first run that i can i can move faster and maybe about halfway through the first run you can tell that i start really accelerating the other thing that i realized was that my braking distance shortened tremendously so when you have a good set of tires it affects your braking and with the new stickier tires, um, you know, before I used the BF, uh, BF Goodrich's, I was using the Nittos. I had to really apply the brake before, you know, my turn in my apex to slow the car down. And what I realized on this autocross day with the new tires was that I was applying the same uh, amount of pressure, anticipating that the car wasn't going to slow down. And it ended up slowing down way more than I wanted it to. So... That was another change. So not only did the tires affect how much grip the car had, it also affected my by shortening my braking distance. And I do a lot of uh, left foot braking while I'm driving. So pretty much at this point, I, I started getting the feel for it um, as the day went on. And I improved on my times a little bit. A couple times I got a little overzealous and I overshot my turn and I ate some cones naturally, but uh, no DNS this time. Uh, it was pretty solid driving on my end. I had a ton of fun. And I realized that I'm not going to make any more drastic changes to the car. I'm going to keep driving the car as is for now and improve on the most important thing, the driver mod. And um, like I said, I didn't do any montage style video, but I want to give a shout out to um, on Instagram at a.lee studios. He was out there photographing all the drivers in the crazy Texas heat and he did an outstanding job. So at the end of this video, I'll put in a reel of uh, some of the pictures that he took for you guys to enjoy. So uh, yeah, enjoy the clips guys.
Car was feeling good, third run. Uh, I tried powering through it. I ended up understeering straight into some cones, came back into the paddock, and um, what I saw was that my tire pressures were almost up to 40 in the front, and when I initially started, I was doing 33 PSI all the way around. So the fact that my tire pressures were way off from what I started at uh, also played a little bit of a factor in when I couldn't turn. So uh, readjusted my tire pressures to 33 again. And uh, there was a ton of reruns this time around. So I had a lot of time to uh, fix my front splitter after I plowed those cones. So luckily this guy in front of me, he had some uh, zip ties. He handed me a handful of zip ties and I was able to zip tie the front splitter back up into its place and um, get ready to get back out there. So. I'm gonna run the camera in the same slot again, and uh, hopefully I do a lot better on my third run, and I keep scrubbing off that time. So, let's get back to it. Go. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Uh, pretty short, simple, sweet, and to the point. Um, like I said earlier in the beginning of this video, I wasn't really trying to make a, a big uh, entertaining video with the cars and everything. I was, I was more focused on my driving for this event. I'm trying to improve my, um, my driving skill here. Um, but a good tool to use is the GoPros. And another really good tool I found is the photographs that Ailey Studios took. I can really uh, see what the car looks like on the track from the outside. Um, and I quickly realized that my car is just a little too low in the front, but, um, but yeah, for the most part, uh, again, it was a ton of fun. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below. And if you love these videos, subscribe. So until next time, guys, peace out.